Yeah, praise God. Uh -huh. um, Archbishop. I was looking for her. And I kept looking for her there. I could not see her. And I, I didn't even look there. Now I see her coming. Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I was looking for you there. I kept looking for you there. I kept looking for you there. I kept looking for you. Because when I was talking about Pastor Naomi, because I wanted to be able to talk about two where you are concerned. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. But first of all, let's hear the testimony and then I will conclude with this. She's got a very powerful testimony, uh -huh. Archbishop. Her testimony, she said she's got a property back in Jamaica. Uh -huh. And that property has somebody else's name on it. So it's two people's name, her name and somebody else uh -huh. on the property. And this person, because the person wants the property, Ha, took the property to court so in other words he took her to court where the property and she's been battling with this for the past four years four years four years and uh -huh. because she's here it has been subjected to the court here so they are trying to look at her her financial status here where the property is concerned so they asked there they wanted to that person went to value the property but what he came out with it's not what it's worth. So it means it's worth, she's saying that the property is worth more than what he's saying, which means if it goes along that way, she loses. So she said no. So okay, they gave her the option to come with valuers. So she managed to get 10 valuers. 10? Ten. 10 of them. Not one? Not one. That's Ten. the goodness. <laughs> Some will say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. So the first one, went to speak with her solicitor so they they gave the valuer permission to go and value the land but the person didn't reach there before he got there and when he got there before he could even value the the property he was he got shot reason why because she's been putting the name he, he, he got shot he got shot <laughs> He got shot. He, he, the person got shot. The person got shot. Did you hear that? Yeah. He got what? Shot. <laughs> because she's been writing those names and putting them in the fire. So they, so they had to send another valuer. No, no, let, let, let me hear yeah. this. Let me hear this. Praise the Lord, everyone. Yeah. Amen. You know, I, I believe that, you know, what God has given you, if you just sit there, God is kind of watching to see how you're going to fight for this, how are you going to let somebody else have it. This property, you know, man of God, is, is, is a beautiful property. It's not in any, in any area in Jamaica. It's, it, it, it's a gated place. It is posh. It is hot. Right? I've got security. It is nice. So, the person name that was attached apparently this property became the subject of the court in England you know that case that have been fighting for four years and you want it and you want the money and the, the court here want to know all my financial status what I am worth blood okay, I am here running from this job to that job all that I am worth so, this property came to light. Now, you went behind, you came up with some figure and say, that is what it's worth. So, when my solicitor, we sat down and talked, said, this figure is there. That's what they said it's worth. I stamped it, I said, yes. Because I know, quick thinking. Someone said the anointing of quick thinking. I say yes. I came in agreement with you. That's what it was. So, which is cheaper? Which is cheaper? If uh -huh. it was bigger, thickness would go down, and I'm not going down. So, the 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 hearing for the court was coming up, you know. So, um, my solicitor said that. We need to send somebody to the property to value it. I had no issue with that. So what I did, 
I got the list of the 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 values and I gave it to my solicitor. All of them in Jamaica. Right? I gave it. I am living here in London. It is there. I gave the list. I don't know you, but I know God. And I gave the list to my solicitor and he chose who he wanted from the list. And he contacted them and yes everything agreed and they're preparing and they're going and he told me they're going to the property so i said yes but in the name of jesus i said you're not going to my yard to value it so i it, it was the week before we had the ashes out there this is four years four years i've been fighting this so i've been i made a titanic bomb no i was I was, I was serious, and I put it in the bottle, and I did what I did. The ashes. Yes. You mix with everything. Yes. Atomic. Yes. <laughs> Nuclear. <laughs> and I remember one Friday, you know, I, I, I just, you know, I, I felt so. I said, God. So I, I threw the ashes up. And I, and I prayed what I prayed. And the, the valuer was on, he went, went to the property. I didn't even know when he went, but I got the phone call from my solicitor. He was frantic. He said, Pauline, the valuer, we are going to court soon. The valuer, I've just got the phone call. The man who is going to value your property has been shot. I said, what? I said, I'm in England. Who shoot him? <laughs> <laughs> when I heard that, I just said, yes. So he said, what are we going to do? Because we are going to court two days time. I said, I said, you've got the list. Choose somebody else. So he chose somebody else, and that person was on their way to Pauline's place. <laughs> You're going to my get it place, my property. So he said, you are going to court two days time. We haven't got nothing prepared now for the, for the judge. I said, it's OK. Don't worry about the judge. You know, when you're used to going to court every day, people taking me to court. They're taking me to court. I'm coming out the victor. Victory, victory. <laughs> so, that other person was on their way to go to the property to value. And you know, I don't know where I end up. But you end up wrong place with, with gunman. He, 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 that one was struck dead. I am in London. He died. So, when this, 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 this told you can't, my solicitor, <laughs> he, he said, he said, Pauline, I, I need to see you. Come, come, come. He said, what is this? The other man that is going to your house is dead. All of them is dying. I said, is it? I said, the next one die? Or is he dead? He said, he's dead. I said, I so said, what are we going to do? To, tomorrow we are going to, to, to court. I said, we're going. So we got prepared. There was so much things happening, so much different court case. So we went to that court case, and the, the judge, the judge called um, the, the, the other person to, to you know, are, are, are you okay to, to come and talk regarding this, blah, blah, blah. And then the judge come to me and said, you want to swear on the Bible, this, that, that. I know the God I serve. Die by fire. <laughs> because I could smell that woman, that judge, she's not, she didn't want to act in my favor. So when I went, I swear on the Bible, I talked to my God. Because it's my house. Yeah. You think I'm going to sit down like a fool and let it, the, the, the carpet sweep under my foot? No. 
My name is Pauline Deaconess. I don't play. That's why I tell people, don't play with me. You play with me, then I will play with you. So, I swear, stand there, talk, blah, blah, blah. And the judge said, oh, she don't believe that's what the properties were. I said, listen, we have sent valuers, and all of them were struck dead. <laughs> the judge looked up at me like this. I, she went gray. And I said, no, this person want that house that's in Jamaica, where valuers have struck dead. Now, what are you going to do? You know, I thank God for the, 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 the anointing in the house of God, you know, and you know, I, 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 I am, I'm, I'm so thankful. And to cut a long story short, what happened now, the house that that person wanted now has been given to me. <laughs> Even better when my soul, when everything was over, because it was a lengthy court battle with all other issues. And my solicitor said, Wow, Pauline, hey, he said, We get to find out that this property is value way so much. How did you get it to be at that? I said, it's quick thinking. The anointing of quick thinking from my church. <laughs> you know, he said, I don't know. You know, you have to pray for me. And my, my solicitor is a Muslim. But when we tell him what to do, we do what we say is to do. And now, the property that that person is fighting to get, the court says, now the same judge that was against me, say, I can have it. We're just waiting to remove that name from the property. Hallelujah! I have got it 100%. It is mine. What is mine? God. You know, I, 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 I tell you, when is the fire service, I make sure it don't miss me and I don't miss it. If it's patient, patient, you're waiting until Pauline Deaconess come back to work or I'm off for that couple hours or that day. And I'm coming back. But that Friday, I am not missing it. My spirit just wakes up when it's the fire service. I come prepared. I don't sit down and wonder, ponder. I fix them. You know how many things I had to go through? I had to put them in the box. Then I had to bring them here. Then I had to tell Daddy Bishop. Then I had to, oh my God. Eh? And to take them back out the box, put them in something else, draw them. Put the, the, the Titanic bomb right there and, and dealing with them in my garden. <laughs> and then bring them in the kingdom church. And now I got the victory. Come on, give Jesus a might and a praise, whatever you are right. We serve a mighty God. There is none like him. You know, last week I was at the banquet. It, 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 it was an awesome Esther banquet. And I, it, it was marvelous, right? And I just bumped out this lady, bumped into me with her son. And she said, wow, you are Deaconess Pauline? I was just hoping that when I came to this, to this banquet, you would be here. And look, you're here. And she hugged me. She was so pleased. She's one of our partners. And she, you know, I thank God for the testimonies 
that have really changed hearts and lives and have, have caused people to, to scale to that limit to know that God said you can, you can. Amen. Lift up your right now. You know, that's, you know, we're not one thing to wear. I, I just want to, I don't want to, I just want to be able just to make it quite a little bit short. You see, one thing I like with Deacon is Paulette, I, I have observed that she does everything. You know, sometimes people ask me, this is Bishop Quan, how come, to, how do you pull the miracles? I was, the other day, I was over with uh, one pastor. You know, he's really, he really, really wanted to see, so at the end of the day, I had to make a time for him, and he took me to this place and says, I just want to talk to you, bought me lunch, whatever it is. He says, only one question I want to ask you. He says, how comes you when you pray, God answers your prayer? How comes that that is you can be able to perform whatever God you ask? And I say, simple. You see, when you, the Bible says, therefore, when you stand, stand. You see, when you do everything that you can do, and when you do it, just do it. The Bible says that he that endures to the end, the same, 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 not any other, same, shall be saved. And sometimes when, when I activate the gifts of the Spirit, I stretch myself, and whatever I do, what I can do, and what I cannot be able to do, I say, God, fill it up for me. And God will always fill it up. You know, it, it's about, you know, doing little of that and 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 little of that. Then all of it together. Am I speaking to somebody? You know, you know and especially where, you know, Deacon is supposed to, I was just actually looking. I was at every time I keep, you know, I was just looking for you there because I wanted to, to, oh, to, to thank God for your life. You know, the other day I was just going through my bank statement. You know, I was just going through, God told me, I want you to go through the bank statement. When I saw that, even Christmas, you remembered me. You know, every month. You know, I was just going through the bank statement. And I saw that. And when I saw that, I was, I, I said, God, this woman remembers every month. And I knelt down and I said, God, whatsoever that she needs, God, that's why Apostle Paul said, and my God, the God of Apostle Paul, shall supply all their needs. I'm not trying to, I just want to be able to share, because you see, people don't know. You see, you're doing a little bit of everything. You see, when you see God moving in a mighty way, she's doing many, many things here and there, serving God, doing that and doing that. See, it's a combination of everything. You see that. You see, the kingdom of God is about doing everything, doing, being balanced, not just being focused with one thing. I was just going. I was just going through, and I saw Christmas. I saw every month. I saw, and I kept going back, and, I, and they keep coming, they keep popping up, and keep popping up. And you know, one thing I want to be able to say that I pray for you, and I, and that's why sometimes even when she calls me. No matter what time it is. I know she doesn't call me unnecessary. But I'm obligated. It is a must. It doesn't no matter if I'm abroad, whatever it is. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. What am I saying for? The book of Philippians chapter 4. Philippians, put for me Philippians chapter 4. I'm, I'm, what, I'm, what I say here is what, I mean, is what may be credited into your account. That's what Apostle Paul wrote, and he said, "Is here now. Watch here now. In the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 15 says, Philippians chapter 4, verse 15. Philippians chapter 4, verse 15. Moreover, as you know, Philippians, you know in the early days of acquaintance with the gospel, when I sent out to Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving, except you only. This Apostle Paul says, not even a single person. He says here now, when I set out for Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving. Apostle Paul had to write this because what he ate, what he dressed, for him to keep moving from one point to another point, 
it was because of the Church of the Philippians. Servants of God sometimes they go through a lot of situations. And yet you want God to supply your needs. And watch here now, verse 16 says, For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me aid again and again when I was in need. Oh, but Bishop, you know one thing. Oh, you, we know you are rich. Yeah, I am. But I'm still a man of God. I'm still your what? Yeah. I'm still your what? Your man of God. I'm not your employer. <laughs> you hear what I say? I'm not your what? I'm not your employer. I am your what? Yes. So, being a man of God, people say, oh, Bishop has no problem. Oh, he's dressing nice, he's driving nice, he's eating well. You know, about food. That's not what Mama Linda will take care of that. Guess what? Mama Linda will only be blessed. <laughs> Am I speaking to somebody here now? And, but watch here now. I want to be able to share this verse, 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 verse 17. Not that I'm looking for a gift. I'm not looking for a gift because I'm already rich. I'm already blessed. God has given me ideas, inventions, and many other things. But those things that which I do is for an example for you. To know that if God can use me this way, it is possible. You see, you can never take people where you've never been. You know, if I'm busy trying to tell you, oh, God can make you rich and I'm poor, I'm lying to you. Some say hallelujah. It says, not that I'm looking for a gift, but I'm looking for what may be credited to your account. So every time when you're taking care of the prophet of God, that goes to your account. I'm talking about in the spiritual realm where you only you can withdraw it. And, uh, but you know, but but you know the issue is one. Don't get me wrong. You know after you know, the way I preach now. Oh my God, you're gonna see some of you right now. Oh Bishop, here this. But they only bring me lucose today. Then tomorrow there is no more lucose. Why did you get me started drinking lucose when there is no more lucose for tomorrow? <laughs> now as soon as I change my diet, yeah, because you're bringing glucose. Now suddenly, after you bring glucose day one, glucose day two, glucose day three, now you have warmed here for glucose eight. Now day seventeen. <laughs> if I want glucose, go to the shop. <laughs> you know that's you know that's very warm. It's very warm to start something. And then down on the road, you just pretend as if you did not know what you are doing. Am I talking to somebody here? This apostle Paul says, look again, verse 15 says. Look verse 15. Verse 14. Yet it was a good for you to share my troubles. Verse 15. Moreover, as you know, you Philippians, as you Philippians know, in the early days of your acquaintance with the gospel, when I set out for Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving except you only. Verse 16 says, For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me aid again and again. This is the point. Again and again. Again and again. Again and again. Again and again. You see, when you saw to anointing, and the anointing that is successful, then that anointing becomes a part of your life. You did hear what I say? I say here verse 17 says, not that I'm looking for a gift. That's the issue. I'm not looking for a gift. No, 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 no. See, it's not about amount of money, whatever. No, 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 no. But I'm looking for what may be credited to your account. Now, if I did not really care about you, because I know a couple of people here all get blessed all the time. I know them. They keep receiving favor. But I wish every one of you, you'll enjoy the same thing. You'll enjoy the same favors, the same blessing, the same breakthroughs. 
because I know that is a life that I've always lived even today as I speak to you as, you, as your man of God whatever it is when it comes to taking care of the church taking care of the house of God listen to me what we invest in shares what we invest in shares what we invest in properties what we invest in pensions you know one thing as soon as you leave this earth you leave it here but what you invest in the house of God Jesus said put your investment not on this earth but where treasures where there is no more and rust so when you are supporting the work of God and the prophet of God you are investing and mark my word mark my word when the time comes for you to die you will spend more years on where you're going than here if you don't believe it go to the tombs there go to the cemetery you find somebody who died 18 17 18 where they are to today and they died when they were only 30 years where are they today my question here is what investment do you have up there if we are to show up there what, invest what investments do you have so listen we can invest in chairs we can invest in or other things we can invest in pension we can invest in all that but you know one thing all those things all those things others will benefit from it not you others will benefit from it. not you even some people you've never known some in-laws and outlaws that you've never met they will come and clean it but what you invest in the house of God and the servants of God it goes and get accredited to you because that is where you're going and that's where we're gonna stay for Jesus is not coming soon let me tell you one thing did you hear what I said you're looking at me like that huh? yeah I'm telling you not 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 until after thou, more about maybe 1,000 maybe a thousand years from now yeah you're looking at me like that yeah keep looking but that's the truth There's a lot of work need to be done. And already now, we're in the first phase, and the first phase is over millennium. As I'm telling you, mark my word. I'm gonna see you here next year. <laughs> it's time for us to be able to advance the kingdom of God. Am I speaking to somebody? Now watch this now, verse 18 says, verse 18, I have received full payment, even more. I am amply, am amply supplied now that I have received from a proper, a proper product, whatever it is, the gift you sent. Now listen what happened. Every time when you are taking care of the servant of God, taking care of the house of God, he says they are a fragrant offering and acceptable sacrifice pleasing to God. We have got Asia. I have nothing. With the little that you have, it can become a key that will open big doors. Am I speaking to somebody here? Some say hallelujah. And I watch you now verse 19 says, verse 19 says, and my God, now this apostle Paul says, my God, see there are prayers. And please, I want to clarify this once more. Oh, I've had people say, oh, you know, you know, for example, Pastor Naomi is untouchable. Mama Linda is untouchable. I've got people that call untouchable here. Oh, you, you touch them, Bishop will deal with you. I'll deal with you. I will deal with you. You're trying to deal with you because I don't know those are the people taking care of me. <laughs> did, you, did you hear that? Oh, that one now strikes up in the middle now. People say, Bishop, what are you talking about? No, 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 because, now look what, look what, look what, can you plug that thing off? Look at this now. Look what happened now. Look what Apostle Paul says. And my God. Now, Apostle Paul prays a prayer that is so personal. He says, my God. He didn't say our God. No, 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 my God. The one that has called me. The one that has anointed me. He said, I'm fake or I'm real. And if I'm real, the anointing that which I carry shall supply all your needs according to your glorious riches in Christ Jesus. but sometimes people are always looking on others they're looking on others I'm 
you're busy saying this, whatever it is. The point I want to say here is, you do your, you do your stuff. Every one of us, we are obligated. Um, did you hear what I say now? We are what? We are what? We are obligated. You have a choice, like all other churches. But the Philippians, they had good leadership. And they said, you know what, we are going to take care of our founder. Wherever he is, we are going to support him. And as a result, the church of Philippians became one of the most blessed church ever. Because God did supply all their needs. Did you understand something here now? In, uh, some say hallelujah. hallelujah. So in short, what we say here is the day, uh, you know, sometimes it, it's a very interesting thing. When it comes to that area, I'm, I'm glad that we're bringing that because I need to tell people many miracles that are talking. Because when you talk about the box, whatever it is, the box has wheels. You need to understand when you hear us speaking about because you, you end up trying to do the same thing and you're not getting the same results. And then you're busy getting frustrated. Now you better know the truth. Did you hear what I said? You better know what? The truth. Someone say hallelujah. You know, the other day I told church manager, I saw something very interesting a couple of months ago. I said, you know what, the church manager, the day when you give people an opportunity in church to do things for the church, the church prospers. But the day when you keep sending the invoice to the accounts department, the church members become poor. How does that work out? It's very strange. And I said, check it. The day when you stop going to the accounts department saying that, no, no, the day when you, when you approach, when you come here and you say, you know, hey, you know, I want you to buy a hoover for the church. And you buy that. Then, what has happened right in the realm of you become a kingdom promoter instant? While the hoover is vacuuming, God is busy vacuuming all the, all the trash from your house. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My first miracle that I received, mi my miracle money of, of having over 10,000 pounds cash, was when I was in a meeting. One pastor told me, Stand up. I said, You young man, there, yes, you're going to pay the rent for this conference for this week. I was, Wow. So after I asked how much, he told me 70 pounds. I paid that 70 pounds. Why did not know? I've just registered my, my name in heaven for unlimited blessing. I, I, a few days later, I received a phone call. That was 70 pounds. That was my, my wages. All of it gone. A few days later, I received a phone call from somebody calling me from far away. He says, hi, hi, is your name Climate? I say, yes. Oh, there is this pilot from Kenya Airways, his name was Peter. He says, he just told us that you are an honorable man. <laughs> I said, yes, I am. <laughs> now, don't forget, I just got saved before I was a criminal. And now somebody called me an honorable. The man told us, give us your bank account. We want you to buy computers for us. I said, how many computers? He says, 100 computers. What time? Toshiba said, light. I said, no problem. About 14 seven to 14 days i checked my bank account there was one hundred thousand pounds one hundred thousand pounds yes before you come let me tell you the truth what happened that day when i went and i checked it i went back again into the account and print it out i thought to myself that man does not know me this is one hundred thousand pounds if i would don't disappear we have no agreement we have no contract I thought to disappear, but I remembered I am an honorable man. Amen. So I went over to West London. I found a good deal. The man had told me, whatever you're going to save is yours. I went and bought 100 computer, laptop computers. Out of, after doing everything, I was left with 10,000 pounds. Am I speaking to somebody here? That has never changed. Even in an organization in Tapak, anything that they need, I'm the first one to step up. When they need to use this facility, fine. 
Because anything that I have, it must serve God. Somebody say, glory be to God. Somebody say, amen. amen. And that is what the anointing of the kingdom church is. The kingdom church, this anointing is, is based on one thing. On giving and receiving. That's why if you're a mean person, if you're not a giver, please look for another church. Because it's not going to work for you here. I'm just telling you the truth. But when you choose to give, heaven will salute you, will kiss you. Heaven will pour unlimited favor in your life. Receive it in Jesus' name. Some say hallelujah. So lift up your hand. You know, I want to be able to appreciate for every shoes. You know this woman she buys me shoes every month, every other month. Three pair of shoes, whatever. I'm not talking to somebody here right now. Someone say hallelujah. But I, I, it's good to say, so people can know. And these shoes keep coming. <laughs> Someone say hallelujah. So I've got some, do you know how many shoes that I have? Hundreds of shoes. For every occasion. Someone say hallelujah. So what, so what do you expect me to pray? I have no choice. But I have to pray. That's why you have to get that house. That's why all of them have to be short. Did you hear what I say now? Lift up your hands. Father, we give all the praise. Thank you for every favor. Even today I've shared that testimony on behalf of many others. May the Lord remember you. May the Lord bless you. Father, release your anointing. More blessing.